Kasi yung, 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 yung kagawad na gabi, may kasalan po dito kagabi, dito po sa akin lang parada. Opo. Kung okay. bali may mga motor po kasi hindi po ano eh, galing po kasi ako sa school. Ah, galing sa school. Galing sa work, eh, tsaka work student po kasi ako. So gabi po yung klase ko kasi. So pagdating ko po, may kasalan po eh. Hindi ka nang pasok. Bali hindi ko na po na ipasok kasi nakisuyo na po na mapaya po mamaya eh, nakatulog na po kasi ako. Nakikita niyo yung mga signs na yun? Yun nga po sir eh, nakisuyo po sa'yo kagabi. Yun nga, pasensya po, hindi naman kami nag-ano, o operate dito araw-araw. Eh pag nag-check po ang kayo ng ganyan, eh kailangan namin gawin yung trabaho namin para maging pato sa lahat. Baya lang kukuhain ko po ba sir dun sa loob? Uh, hindi, kung ako nga sa'yo, kung may lisensya ka, may lisensya naman po ako oh, sa'yo. Sumama ka na, makukuha mo agad yan pag natin doon sa'yo pounding. Diba? Makukuha mo yan agad. Kasi rin po kasi ako ng alas 7. Kaya nga, maka pa naman. Good morning everyone, MMJ back on the road right now, they're in Manila City issuing tickets to illegally parked vehicles. These ICE trucks have been ticketed multiple times in the past. The problem is every time the team go here, the drivers come running out and show their license. That means they get the cheaper ticket of only 1,000 pesos, no matter how many times they've been ticketed in the past. And over here, the enforcers are writing out a ticket to this vehicle parked on the corner. You're not allowed to park on the corner of a street because it makes it dangerous and difficult for other vehicles to actually want to make the turn. And this little green tricycle was also ticketed, I think a few weeks ago, parked in the exact same location. Are people actually paying their tickets? Well, not always. Imagine you have 10 years before your license is due for renewal. By that time, you might have racked up dozens or even hundreds of unpaid tickets. Are you going to pay them all and renew your license? Or are you going to apply for a new license with slightly different details? Here's something you would really wonder about. Public sidewalk and in the barangay allowed them to install these huge rams here. So that if you have a wheelchair, if you have a pram, you can't pass anymore. Another corner, another car. Towing crew already underneath, connecting the gear, ready to pick it up and clear the road. Really, it's a frustrating experience when you're trying to pull out of a road or you're trying to pull into a road and there's a vehicle parked right there. It makes it difficult and it potentially makes it dangerous because you cannot see. You cannot see if it's clear, you cannot see if anyone's there. Anyway, it's going up on the tow truck now. And a little further along, you see the connecting the caution towed vehicle sign. And then up all this one truck parked here, full of tires. If I remember correctly, these are the same tricycles that were parked here last time also. I guess this is why DILG has stepped up and said we're going to start holding local officials, for example the barangay captain, responsible for not maintaining their area after it's been cleared by the MMBA. This motorcycle is being loaded onto the tow truck now because when they flagged down the driver for riding without crash helmet, he wasn't able to show a license. They're flagging down that rider now. Young schoolboy on the back, no helmet. Let's see if there's a license. I assume there's a license, but who knows, right? That's a nice dog right there. Same on the other side of the street. Didn't get to look at him for very long. Honestly, it's still crazy that this is one of the hardest working SCOG teams and they still get assigned this tiny little truck. I know for a long time people have been suggesting that their head of MPCG assign a bigger truck because not only do they have to pull the stuff they confiscated, but all of the SCOG team have to fit in there at the same time. So every day they're squashed into an uncomfortable position. It's really sad to be honest. So the team are also issuing a ticket to that Starrex parked on the corner as well as this motorcycle here you'll see this sari sari store extends over the sidewalk and someone from the store asked me is that allowed why do you need to ask you should know that already it means that the barangay have never told them you're not allowed to put your business on the sidewalk and you're not allowed to extend your awning into the road if i remember correctly this is one of the cars that was towed last time for obstructing the sidewalk and yet again it's parked here this street was also cleared a few weeks ago by the MMDA and all the obstructions are already back. And it's sad when you see red plates that are just abandoned and broken left in the road. 
it's funny because if it's private, people will keep it going for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. But when it's a red plate, government plate, voila. Look at this, a nice wide sidewalk until you get to this point and then boom, private garage, no more sidewalk. You cannot do that without the barangay seeing you. It's not like that's a 30 minute job. That would take days and days to set up, but there you go. Sidewalk is now a private garage. And look at this abandoned barangay sidecar on the sidewalk. Only yesterday the DIOG were here reminding how the barangay is going to be held responsible if they don't clear and maintain their area. Over here you'll see the SCOG team helping to dismantle this extension over the sidewalk. The problem is they're being allowed to keep all the items. So based on what we've seen in the past, it won't be surprising if this is reinstalled the moment the MMDA leave. Especially if the barangay say, yeah, it's okay, you can do it. If the barangay don't enforce anything, then they only have to follow the rules when the MMDA are here. The rest of the time, no problem. The team made a U-turn. Now they're issuing tickets to lots of vehicles on the sidewalk, on the road. Crazy thing is, all these people watching the team on the other side, it's only when they actually got close that they decided they want to move. Because of course they don't want a ticket. But if the MMDA didn't get close and start issuing tickets, they would just stay there. The towing crew already hooking up to this one. No driver to take a ticket and move it. I'm not even sure if it works to be honest because it's so dusty and beaten up. Many tricycle drivers have said they would rather be impounded by MTPB because allegedly no matter how many violations they have, even if there's no license, no ORCR registration, they can get it back for just 500 pesos now compared to MMDA where they have to pay the proper penalties and the towing fee. That does not look very safe. Talk about overloaded tricycle and it can barely move. So of course that's gonna add to traffic. That car from earlier is already on the back of the tow truck. Even the license plate at the back is broken. So it's missing the first character. This motorcycle was stopped now. It was carrying two adults, two children. Both adults have helmets, both the children don't have helmets. So overloaded plus no crash helmet. They know they need helmets to protect their heads, but they don't give helmets to the kids. 